This is dynamic optimization for trajectory planning. Specifically, we're going to be using an inverted pendulum with a cart where we can control the force either to the right or to the left. Okay, so the cart is going to be able to move back and forth. This is just a, uh, a one-dimensional movement for the cart, and the pendulum is going to swing uh, left or right based on the movement of the cart. So what we want to do is we want to start from a position. This will be y equals negative 1. Um, negative 1, and we want to move to the right um, to y equals 0, 0. And all of our angles, like theta and velocities, okay, so we have our uh, velocity, theta our angle, and then Q, our rotation rate, um, those need to start and finish at zero. So we want to go over to the right, have this uh, here straight up and perfectly balanced. Okay, so it's going to start from there, and we'll see, um, let's go ahead and plan the moves to this uh, force. Okay, so that's the thing that we can change on the cart, whether we move, uh, apply force forward or backward to the cart. Okay, so these are the equations that describe uh, the pendulum motion. Epsilon is defined here. Um, the mass of the car is 10 times more than the mass of the pendulum. Okay, and then the other thing that we want to do is we want to try to minimize the fuel consumed when we perform the maneuver. Okay, so we don't want to use excessive force when, uh, when doing this. Okay, so there's also a non-inverted uh, pendulum problem. And so we can start with that. Um, the equations are just a little bit different uh, from this one for the uh, cart that's overhead versus the cart that's beneath. Okay, and then there's a uh, reference if you want to get more information on this problem. Okay, so let's go over to um, build some of our files. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and build our uh, pendulum one first. Okay, so I'll put this uh, right here and uh, let me put this over here just so we can see these uh, these equations as we build it okay so there are our equations and what we'll do is we'll first of all just go ahead and start off with some uh, parameters that we're going to define like our mass of our cart the mass of the pendulum um, and then also this is going to be the force u is going to be the force that we're going to apply to the cart um, i'm going to use this final because we want this to just be stationary at the end. I'm going to define a parameter final that's going to be zero everywhere, but right at the end it's going to say these are my final points. Okay, now I want some variables as well. These are going to be my four variables, my position y. I'm going to start at negative one initially. And then my velocity as well, that's going to start at zero. So these are my initial conditions for my states. My theta is my angle and then my Q is my rotation rate, okay, the theta with respect to time. And then I have a couple intermediate variables as well, my epsilon, I'm gonna define that. Um, I could put that in the equation section as well, define a new variable, but it's a little bit more efficient to do it this way. And then equation section, I'm just gonna write these in non-matrix form. So Y dot um, equals V, okay, so that's just a, a position, the derivative of position equals velocity, and then I also have um, the V dot, okay, so that's like the acceleration. Um, and there I have uh, epsilon and theta in there as well. That uh, provides, uh, it's kind of like a force due to the pendulum, and plus the U um, as well. And uh, then I have theta equals Q, okay, so that's just the derivative of the angle equals the rotation rate. And, uh, and then also uh, Q dot is theta minus u. Okay, so now I also want to minimize. Um, now again, I, I just took my final right there. That was um, what I had defined. And so this is going to be zero everywhere except right at the end. So this objective function is really just going to turn on just right at the end. And we're going to try to minimize y squared, uh, v squared, theta squared, and q squared. Okay, so if all of those go to zero, then I know I'm at an optimal solution. Okay, and then I also want to try to minimize the fuel. So I'm going to just put a small penalty 
on u squared just try to minimize its um, uh, the the kind of like the absolute value of u okay so there's my pendulum model now what I want to do is create a um, a data file now okay so I want to define time and my I'll just define a sample time of 0.1 uh, you need to make this a little bit uh, you know finer steps if you want more accuracy for your optimization solution but it may take just a little bit longer so there's a trade-off there between the number of time steps and um, and how accurate you are okay so I'm going to define up to 6.2 I needed to arrive after 6.2 seconds according to the problem and then I'll have a period of, of letting it steady out okay so I'll also define up to seven as well so there's my final parameter that's when I turn on my objective function so I'm going to up to 6.1 is going to be zero and then after that it's going to be uh, one okay and I'll go ahead and save that and I'll keep it in this format and click yes okay so now um, let me go in and define a MATLAB script now the MATLAB script is going to load um, a couple things like my model and my data file so I'm going to close and you know all the plots clear all the variables and clear the screen add path to the AP monitor um, library if you need to get that you can always come on the web um, and you can just grab it here from uh, this download and I'll just go ahead and open it and show this okay so right there just go ahead and copy that into um, into your folder and then paste it in there and you'll have um, <clears throat> okay so you will have uh, those files that folder right there is what you need okay um, after you load that you add path to it and then let's define our server okay so my server I'm just gonna use one of the publicly available ones I'm gonna give it an application name and then I want to clear my application that's on the server so I give it the clear all command and then load my model file which was pendulum.apm that was uh, this file that I just defined and then I also want to define uh, this pendulum.csv that was this uh, CSV file that I defined earlier as well okay um, and then um, I wanted to switch to dynamic control mode so that's I mode 6 uh, that it does uh, optimization with uh, dynamic equations and then I want to classify my manipulated variable u that's my force that I can apply to the cart so that's the one that the optimizer is going to be changing in order to be able to minimize my objective function and then uh, let the optimizer use the MV to minimize objective so I'm going to set the status equal to 1 for that U variable okay and then let's go ahead and solve it so I'm just going to use this um, issue the solve command uh, to and then uh, retrieve the output just to see what the solver did and I'll display that output so I want to retrieve uh, the solution with this APM under our SOL or solution function and then I'll just assign um, the solution y.x to the variable z and now I just want to plot this okay so I'm going to plot my u value z.u versus uh, z.time and that's going to be my force on the cart and then I have my legend I'll just put u there and then axis type that just um, cleans up the plot just a little bit Okay, now another subplot, put my Y value on this, and that's going to be my cart position. And uh, then my third subplot, I'm going to put my velocity on there. Okay, and then on the fourth subplot, I'll put my theta, and then also my Q as well. Hold on to that plot and put Q on there too. And that's going to be my pendulum mass. Um, and, uh, and let's see, this is not my pendulum mass, this is my pendulum angle. Um, and but this is for the uh, the angle of this pendulum mass okay so um, I can also do this in Python as well I'll just show the Python script I'm going to import APM library again that's just um, you can download that in this case you just need APM.py and you can get that from uh, the web just come over to the Python interface and download this okay and then you just need to grab that file right there okay um, and then I'm going to define a server application name clear all load the model of the data file set I mode 6 manipulated variable turn it on solve it and then uh, retrieve the solution and then I'll just plot 
with matplotlib. There's my first subplot, second subplot, third subplot, and fourth subplot. Okay, so very similar to MATLAB. Okay, so what I want to do now is um, let me go ahead and just run the uh, the MATLAB one. Okay, so when I run it, change folder, and um, hopefully produce a result for me. Okay, and uh, so here's the result. Um, so what it did first of all is it is that the cart went backward. It had a force going backward, and the angle, um, and you could see that with the the purple line. Okay, so it accelerated forward. So the angle it started tipping forward, and then the force on the cart is still negative, but then here it goes positive. So now it's moving in the forward uh, direction. So you can see that the cart goes backward initially and then starts going forward and then it goes past the mark of zero and then comes back again. So um, it goes negative again, it slows itself down and then it goes, uh, it just levels off so it's zero velocity and zero angle and uh, rate of change as well. Okay, so by 6.2, it figures out that that's where it needs to stop. So all of these moves that it took uh, in 0.1 second intervals, it took those so that it could have a final uh, resting of zero velocity, uh, zero position, and zero angle and rate of angle change. Okay, so let's run this in MATLAB as well. So I'm going to just right click this and edit with IDLE editor. Okay, and then I'll run it uh, from the IDLE editor, and I should get the same solution that I had in MATLAB. Okay, so there it is, same solution um, that I had in MATLAB in Python as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back and just uh, close some of these out. Just review what we um, just covered. Okay, so um, okay, so we had this cart and we wanted to try to drive it to the right into this final uh, resting state and so what it did is it first of all went backward a little bit went forward and then went back again just to catch it okay so it came uh, and, and went forward until it uh, performed these maneuvers and had a final uh, steady state um, which was a balanced pendulum